Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, here's a question that comes up all the time. I've got a little Divi site here. At the bottom, I've just got the generic footer. And as you can see, they've actually updated the Twitter icon. I'm quite surprised they've done that so quickly, but that's good. But there's a large widget area here, archives and categories, that people try and get rid of them. And people seem to be having trouble removing this area if they don't want it. It's pretty easy. There's a couple of ways to do it. My most simple solution would be with a bit of CSS code. I'm using Google Chrome here. If I right click and inspect, we've got the footer widget there. Well, the whole thing's called the footer widgets. That's the main footer, but I think the main footer includes our little menu bar and actual bottom bar at the bottom there. Main footer, yep. Yeah. We just want the footer widgets itself, which is right there. So if I left click on there, it's got a CSS ID of footer widgets. If I put display none in there, it should disappear. Yep, it's gone. We've still got our little menus there. So what you can do is just copy this code, and I'll put this down below for you. Copy that, go to your dashboard, go down to Divi, theme options. You can also do this in your additional CSS panel under appearance there. Under the general tab, right down the bottom, we've got our custom CSS panel. If there's something in there, you can scoot it down. Put your cursor there. Hit your return key, paste in your new code, control V to paste. Like I say, I don't need the padding. I didn't write that particular bit. We'll save the changes. Now let's go back to our page here. I'll just undo it. When you do it in the browser here, it's non-destructive. So once you refresh the page, it'll actually go back to normal. But if I refresh now, that little area should have disappeared. We will roll on down. Yep. We've no longer got that little area right there. So that's the easiest way of doing it. Another way to do it is do it manually, which is again, very easily. Let's just take this bit of code away, get it back. Like I say, that bit of code you'll find down below the video. And I'll save my changes. And if I go back now, that should be back. And there it is right there. The other way to do it is manually. Again, if we go back to our dashboard here, this time we're going to go down to appearance and widgets. And if we roll down a little bit, we've got various footer areas down here. I think it's the first one. Just hit the little chevron. Yep, there's the first one, the categories and archives. That's what we want to get rid of right there. So what we can do is just go in there and we can delete these. We'll do the same with this and this. And we want to do the same with this down here and this also. And I'm just left clicking on the three little dots here and going down to delete and it's gone. That's all our widgets disappeared there. So if we hit the update button there and go back to our page. If I refresh now, this should be gone again. We roll down to that page once more. As you can see, it's no longer there. And as I said earlier, that's a question that comes up all the time with Divi. So there's two easy ways of doing it, a manual way and a way with a bit of code. And don't forget, I'll put that bit of code that we used down below the video for anybody that wants to use it. But it's very simple. Just put it in your custom CSS or you can go to Appearance, Customize. That's going to take us to this page here. If we roll down to the bottom, you've got an additional CSS panel and you can put your CSS code in there. This is exactly the same as the custom CSS panel under the Divi options there. So just scoot it down, put your code in there. Once you put it in, you're good to go. Hit your Publish button and you're good to go. So there you have it guys, a couple of ways of removing the large widget area at the bottom of the Divi theme there. Like I say, I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. And that's the first time I've noticed they've changed the Twitter to an X round there. Well done, elegant themes. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. Once again, 
This has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.